Hi guys, welcome back to So You Think You Can't Craft. I have a really cute craft for us today. It's a little washcloth bunny. It's super simple, super easy, only a couple minutes to do. Uh, with Easter coming up in April, we will be doing mostly April or Easter themed crafts. Um, maybe a couple St. Patrick's Day ones in there because St. Patrick's Day rocks. But um, for today, we are going to start with an Easter craft. And yes, I know Valentine's Day is today. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, but I'm really good at moving forward because this is the next holiday we get to give crap or gifts to. So let's move on with our little bunny here. So the supplies that you're going to need for sure is actually only two. You need a square washcloth and a rubber band of some sort. I'm actually using a hair tie rubber band. So um, you have other optional items. You have eyes, a uh, nose, a ribbon for the hair, and a tail. I just have the bow and that's about it. Um, so the bow I'm gonna use is actually a Build-A-Bear bow because um, they're nice. They already are attached and have elastic and so much of the work is taken out for me. So. First things first, you're going to fold it in half diagonally so you have a triangle. The next step is going to be to roll it as tight as possible starting at the corner. So you're going to go up to the corner here. Let me get this flat here for me. There we go. Uh, go to the corner and start rolling as tight as you can to keep it all the way throughout. The tighter you get it, the better your bunny is going to stay. So you're going to have something looks like this. Now, you're going to fold it in half. Now, I suggest folding it where that last line is, folding that into the inside. So now you have something that looks like this. Now, you turn it and you're gonna fold against that fold. So you have these open, you're gonna fold up this way. Almost all the way in half. I like to leave it a little bit shorter so I have a little bit bigger of a body here. Next thing you do is holding that and you're gonna have to hold this all tightly throughout the entire process. So I have the fold that I just made, so the second fold, is where I'm going to put my rubber band around. Just enough that you have a head there. So this is what you should have. Two little ears, fold with a rubber band. And yeah, it would be a better, better to have a white rubber band or something along those lines um, for this. Now I'm going to just kind of adjust it up front so that I have nice and flat kind of area. Next, you're gonna pull your ears up there and spread them out a little bit on both sides. So there's your little bunny. And for me, all I'm gonna do next is take my little ribbon and I'm gonna put it over the ears And then I'm going to turn it so it's on one side. So there is a little Easter Bunny washcloth in which that you can put on your uh, counter in your bathroom for when people come over this Easter. Or um, if you have a kid that likes bunnies, you can put it around for them. And it's totally usable. You just take the rubber band off and you got it to go. That's the only reason why I don't like putting the eyes, nose, and tail on. Um, it's because it's completely usable and I just undo the rubber band. Now, I used a black rubber band so that you can see what the what it was that was going on here. Normally you would use a rubber band that's a little bit more concealable. So, that is our little bunny for today. Um, I will see you guys later. Well, you'll see me. I won't see you. 
But have a great Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. We will have some crafts coming up. And our next crafting class will be on the 7th of March. Unless I hear differently for people wanting to do it on the 8th, which is a Sunday in the afternoon. Either way, it'll be 3 o'clock. So either Saturday at 3 or Sunday at 3. So far it's Saturday. I need to, you guys need to let me know if you'd rather do it Sunday so that I can accommodate as many people as possible. And I will hopefully have up your class here soon um, or your class plan so that you know what we'll be making uh, and know how much it will be. So little bunnies and I say have a good Valentine's Day.